See that? We're going to take that off, uh, the cassette, the chain, the derailleur and the shifter over there and we're going to install that. In short, I'm going to do something silly. I'm going to make a 2x with an 1150 cassette. Let's do this. If you're wondering what I'm doing, or why I'm doing this, the reason is because I have the hardware lying around <coughs> and the discussion has cropped up in a certain place whether something like this is even possible and my opinion is that it depends on your tolerance for jank. For example, this uh, R2AX derailleur I'm going to be using is meant only for a single ring setup because you can see there's a quite significant offset of the guide pulley and it has pre-installed uh, the road link, gold link, whatever link simply the hanger is pretty long so it's most likely not going to work however, you know, for science I splashed isopropyl alcohol into my eye pro tip, don't do this it's painful if you have poor shifting and you're not afraid of doing things which are the bottom a droplet of oil when you're going to be inserting a new cable is going to make the housing a little less friction oh, filled with friction posing less friction to the cable but of course at a cost of increased maintenance because it's now full, or maybe not full, but it's now now has oil inside. So, so as you can imagine, it's going to get dirty much easier. We are slowly reaching the uh, the climax of this video. And we're going to be enamored with the answer to the question, will it blend? Or in this particular case, will it shift? Because the problem is that... Because of the offset of the guide pulley, in order to, be, to have the lowest gear useful on this small ring, like this, obviously, Shut up. In order to have this gear uh, available, I had to set. Now it's not going to be easy. I had to set uh, the the B position here with the B screw pretty low in order for the uh, for the pulley to be here where it is slightly below the biggest ring. However, now if I shift to the big ring, provided I will be able to even use this gear, ah, there you go. In order uh, to have this uh, lowest cog available on the small ring, like this, I'm going to do all right, where was I? In order to have the big ring on the cassette available on the small ring on the crank set, I had to set, <coughs> excuse me, I had to set the position of the uh, guide pulley with the B screw in this particular position. And because of the offset of the guide pulley, when I switch to the big ring, no, not this, not this shift. If I switch to the big ring, then this automatically takes the guide pulley away from the cassette and causes the B gap to increase. And whether this increase is something that we'll be able to adjust away is the question for today. And the prognosis 
isn't good. But we'll see. All right, so I played with it for about 15 minutes and I think I've got it as good as it's ever going to be. It was kind of finicky, it was really sensitive to the B adjustment and I've got it all the way in in order to clear the lowest gear, so 50 by 34. The equipment is uh, all 2 AX uh, 1 by 12 specific uh, rear driller, no clutch unfortunately, long cage, a medium offset of the guide pulley and very long uh, attachment to the radiator hanger. Uh, the cassette is a 12-speed VG Sports 1150, which was reviewed on the channel. It's, it's the same cassette, still working, still working, well, acceptably. I wouldn't say great, but Shimano isn't all that better, but it's better. Anyway, uh, the shifter is an S-Ride 12-speed shifter, and the chain rings are 44, 34 by uh, E13 is the big one, and something from China is the small one. The crank set is Fovno Phantom and uh, this particular setup works like this. Oh, by the way, uh, the chain is a patchwork of Shimano and KMC chains, so take that into account. This setup works like this after faffing with it for about 15 minutes. And here we have the first problem with the big up. I can shift slightly longer with the paddle here so I can get the extra gear and I probably am going to learn to simply compensate for this one. No, let's go further. And of course the cassette is wider, the chains there are fairly short, so I have a little bit of a rub on the front derailleur. However, I've got thumb shifter with no indexing, just micro indexed, so I can compensate for this and as you can see I've got full access to all the gears on the big ring. Now let's go down the block as I said this is actually acceptable. Now, we are on the lowest gear on the big ring, now let's switch to the smallest ring. Things aren't as rosy on this particular gear as before. Now, let's go down the block. And uh, this is the gear, which is the fifth from the top, or fifth from the highest gear, where we have exhausted uh, the capacity of the rear derailleur. However, Considering the pattern, uh, the usage pattern of a small ring versus the cassette, this isn't much of an issue. However, the issue is going up and this shift, as you can see, is very violent and that's because uh, the guide puller should be a little lower, but I can't get it uh, any lower because that would make the shifting on the big ring quite a bit lazier, possibly even impossible. As you can see, the lowest gear is actually forcing the derailleur on the lowest gear. Now this is acceptable, after all this is Chinese equipment, but if this was some sort of wonder from Shimano, I would probably be, well, kind of annoyed with it. The question you might be asking is, what's the point of this? And the answer is, there is no point, I just wanted to check whether I can do this, because Going with this setup gives me uh, approximately the same range as I would get with a triple. And I want a triple on this bike, but I don't have a spider for the Fovno crankset. And since this crankset is, let me say this uh, in a politically correct way, underwhelming, I'm going to be replacing it at some point, but for now it doesn't bother me all that much. However, I had to use this massive cassette in order to get the range I would normally get from a triple, so there's no point. I already have a front derailleur, so why not just shift three, uh, three rings? However, if you are inclined to try something like this, take into account that I've got very, uh, how to say this, very friendly case on my hands because the derailleur I have is mated with this cassette and this derailleur have a really small uh, offset of the guide pulley, so I can use 10 tooth uh, difference at the front 
and it works. However, if I, w if I used something like Shimano uh, 51, 61, 7100 series with this very large uh, offset of the guide pulley, this effect of uh, the guide pulley being pulled away from the cassette on the big ring would be magnified and most likely it wouldn't shift very well. Now, I, theoretically I have, I've got the hardware to check this, but I'm not going to because I'm sorry, I'm lazy. And I think it's pointless if you want to use 1150 cassette, use it as a one by, and if you want range, use a triple like normal people. Anyway, now I'm going to be testing this, whether this works as well in the field as it does on the stand. And I hope you have been, I don't know, entertained with this little video. There is more coming, so I am back, maybe, unless I lose my mojo again and see you on the next one no scratch that because i'm recording this a week or so later or after i recorded the previous clip and i wrote this thing to completion over a distance of approximately 150 kilometers and my well conclusions are as follows the entire range of the of the drivetrain is perfectly accessible with a smidgen of barrel adjuster in the front i was able to get it to work more or less correctly not shimano smooth not sram crisp but it works it works pretty well there are no misshifts or something like that and considering that this is a collection of kind of clapped up chinesium that's saying something however what also struck me over this entire thing is that for this particular bike at least it's completely superfluous because I spent like all of my time on the big ring. I never used the small ring, even though I could, but there wasn't really a need for this because 44 by 50 on the terrain I was riding was plenty of low, to be honest. However, if you were keen on doing something like this, then it's plenty of possible because I can see someone use a crank set with 10 to difference between the cogs, but 22-32 or something like that to get some ridiculously low gears out of a setup like this. Of course you would need a derailleur with a clutch because this thing is, well, has problems with cassette inertia, let me say it like this, it's kind of annoying if you're riding aggressively. However, it's working. Now I'm only torn between whether I should retain this setup, go full 1x12 or return to the original setup which was 11.32 10 speed plus, well, this plus an SLX derailleur with a clutch. But that's a problem with my brain, obviously. Anyhow, I hope you're entertained and I hope to see you in the next video.